it's flossing time. It's that time. And actually, I missed last month, so this is just now going to be October and September's because that's just how it is. And I forgot my water, so. Water? Since when do I drink water, right? I already had coffee, so I'm trying not to have more, but probably going to have more. That's probably going to happen. Probably going to be a thing. So let's start. Um, I don't have a lot of progress to show, which I already said was probably going to happen just because I think I've already said I have a lot of things that I'm always trying to do because can't seem to pay attention to just one single task ever in my entire life. I think it's a crafting thing. Like anybody that I know that I talk to that is like, likes to get their hands dirty or like likes to make crafts or whatever it may be, it's hard for them. They have a thousand projects all at once and that's what it is. So we're going to start off with my goals for the month because, uh, my haul that I got, which is not always going to happen. This was a splurge for my birthday. That was in August. You know what? It wasn't even for my birthday. It was just because I felt like it. Anyway, uh, so my plans for the month of October is that I wanted to stitch on 13 different projects that were Halloween related. Or like my feeling of Halloween related because there's one that's like pumpkin and sunflowers and I don't know if that really is Halloween or more just fall but it's gonna be stitched on <laughs> um, this is not a clever idea I'm sure this has been done a thousand times before so um it's whatever but I want to stitch on but I did not I think I dropped something I did not have everything that I needed to do this because some of the patterns I picked. So let's do my haul. And then you're just going to get showed some of this stuff again when I go over in more detail what my plan is. Okay. So I got, after my last whole like rant about my Mill Hill kit that the boys destroyed or the boy destroyed, I, um, I was in a Mill Hill kit mood so I got two of them I got Autumn Harvest collection I didn't know this was a magnet so that's super cool I put it on the fridge for Halloween it's taboo kitty it's so cute I just can't handle the little silhouette things I just love them and it's got little beads for eyes stop it no, really stop it. And then we're doing um, a pirate theme for our decorations. So a lot of skulls and things like that. Uh, our two-year-old, he's going to be two in a couple weeks. He is doing a pirate-themed birthday party because they both love pirates. And we're just going to keep going with that theme for Halloween every year. And I'm starting to piece things together. So I decided to get him. I thought he was cool. He's a magnet too. Oh, that's just as much I don't pay attention. This is also Autumn Harvest Collection. I had no idea that these were magnets. A Why is there always stuff happening outside when I'm trying to record? There's a bunch of birds like flying around all weird. Anyway. I also got the Prairie... The Prairie... Pra I cannot say that right now. I can't. There's just too many R's for my tongue to wrap around the prairie schooler that's it i'm done I'm not i'm not trying to say it again um uh, believe this is uh when witches go riding and i'm sure some people might be familiar with this i think i've probably even seen this on someone and that's why i decided i wanted it said so when it says when witches go riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers, tis near Halloween. I'm pretty excited about that one. This is not. It's, it's something else. I, you know, I'm so excited because I thought I was so organized. 
I'm not. Is that really all I got? God, I felt like I spent so much more. So I got all these flosses so I can start my, I haven't fully kitted it up. But that way I can start my um, projects for, but it was weird because I ordered from one, two through cross stitch and they didn't have like four of the flosses that I need. So I had to go back through and I put stars next to each of them that they said I didn't have. You might hear the boys. Sorry, they're up. I, the, yeah. One's pretending to be a monster. One is asking for more strawberries. Anyway. Where was I? Oh, they didn't have some of them, so I, I put stars next to ones that they didn't have. I have to go back through and either see if I can find them on, like at a craft store or if they get them back in stock. Hi, baby. Are you going to say hi to the camera if you're going to stand up here? Hi, Mama. <laughs> Mama. So I got this fabric and I um, dyed it myself. Can I tell? Yeah. Mama? I did it. Aren't you proud of me? Hmm. Be careful, okay? I don't want you to fall. Mm -hmm. And I already sewed around the edges. Help. No, don't fall. Help. No, don't fall. Help. <laughs> Oh. Also got Mom, help. this. Oh, oh, oh. Can you hold the other end for me? Hmm. No, I don't need you to take it. Which I dyed. Um, I was gonna dye this one, but oh, I really oh, only oh. have a lot such as this one I ordered too. Oh. But I only really have a lot of like purples oh, oh. and pinks, so I need to order some. A, a dyes is what I'm talking about. I'm just supposed to that. I need to order more blues and greens and like grays so that I can make more Halloween looking colors. But by the time that I... he's wet, I don't know why. By the time that um, <laughs> by the time I'm so distracted right now. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> by the time that I get around to ordering the dyes, it won't be Halloween anymore. So I'll probably just next year try to dye some stuff that's green and Mama. I should have one like a dark purple. Like a super dark purple with like hints of gray. Anyway, whatever. Not Mama. the point. Mama. 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 Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh yeah, there's this one too. Quaker's Halloween. Mama. Mama. Design Natalie. I can't, I can't read things today, but there it is. Yeah, a pirate. And I already put the fabric that I also ordered in there with the threads that I ordered for it. Okay, so that was the haul. Like I said, you're going to see some of the same stuff because it goes along with my plans that are in, will be talked about fuller in detail. So, let's talk about progress for the month. Um, I'm going to insert my little clip here where I found my bunny silhouette. So I found my thread that was missing for my bunny silhouette uh, project that I was working on inside of my linen and threads stitch along bag that I had made the goal to get to at least the second row before my next floss tube video. So basically that means that floss tube is helping me get my life together. A bunny? That bunny! It was exciting. I was excited about it. He seems excited about it. I hope you guys are excited about it. So I made Hey, please don't touch. Your hands are all soggy because you're sticking them in your mouth. Thank you. Mama. Okay. 
here's the progress I made. If I remember, I'll put in a picture of where I was before. Okay, this is really hard with you on my lap, babe. Can you go down for now? Go down for now. Or stand up here. So, I think I finished that off. I don't think that was all done yet. And then I started on my... That's going to be the July one. I know, babe. Just give me a sec. Hey, out of there, please. We're going to take an intermission. I asked him to go get uh, the blanket I've been working on. The little one. He's really confused. <laughs> oh, you figured it out. Good job, bud. Okay, so real quick, we're going to do my crocheting knitting progress. Which isn't really progress because he keeps taking it from me, the older one, because this is his. And not letting me finish it because he wants to use it at night, which is really sweet. But I have to keep cutting it and tying it off after I finally figure out where to put my place markers. So I can keep the rows even so I don't have a huge disaster like last time. I'll put a picture in. Hopefully if I remember. Um, so it's cast off again because he had to use it. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry if the noise of children... You don't like it because there's no way I'm getting through this video this time without the oh, yeah. screaming. <laughs> Stop. Dude, you're going to fall. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. I'm going to drop you. Stop it. <laughs> Oh, okay, stop, 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 please stop, please stop. You're gonna fall back into the glass. Yeah, I, that's exactly what I was worried about. Okay. Um, and then I've gotten some, I know that we were doing cross stitch and now I just veered off. This is, this is the mess. This is a mess. I got some diamond painting. Why is my hand sticky now? Got some diamond painting progress done on. No. Okay, you're gonna slip off. I also have progress on my unicorns that are coming out of the ocean. And a super colorful one that has a better name than that, but I can't think of it. I'll put pictures in if I remember towards the end. That's just the one that was easiest to grab because the other ones are a little bit bigger. And back to cross stitch. Guys, I finally finished that roll. Roll. I finally finished that row. I'm really excited about it. Like two years. Going. Why do we never have needles on these things? Look. Uh. Oh, I, I can't get a good because he's on my lap. I started the next row. I finally started the next row. I love this one so much. So much. I can't wait to have it done so I can hang it in my room because it's just it's beautiful. I love it. But that, guys, is as far as I got for the rest of the month. And then I just... Why can't I just, like, do it? Like, why can't I just stick to it and get it done? I feel like I was thinking about this because I was struggling with the fact that I just can't seem to stay loyal to this one. And then it gets tucked away even though I really, really love it. And I think that it's because I like I to see, it. so like the one I'm doing right now, it has a moon and a cat on it. And I'm like, oh, oh I'm all excited to get the cat tail done. And I'm all excited to see the shape of the moon. Whereas this one is a little bit more like borders and geometric kind of. 
I know there's some stuff in it so it's not so geometric. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. um, but I think that's what it is. I think my mind just starts to like veer off and I'm like, all right, well, I have better things to do than uh, this one. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's what it is. But I'm really excited that I finally got past that first border. That first top part took me two years on and off, obviously. That's craziness. It's it's craziness. Anyway, there's no good place to put anything because he's gonna grab everything. Mama, what else? I think that was it for progress. Is that it for progress? Um. Yeah, your eye. So, I guess we'll talk more about... Mama. I did make other progress, one other progress, but it's... But it's on my one of my pieces. Your hair is crazy. It's on one of my pieces that I'm doing for the month of October. So, I'm just going to show it with my plants. Are you getting down? Okay, go, go play. Go watch your Halloween stuff. So... Let's do the plants. So for this first week, I hope I did this right. I forgot to check. I'll be right back. I did it right. So for this week, I'm going to do, so I broke it up for the weeks. I did three, 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 two, and two. Yeah, so five weeks because... I started this week already. Um, so this week I'm doing Halloween Anchor, which is a pattern by Barefoot. It's in my purse. I'm, I'm the worst. Okay. I thought I was so prepared. I was so excited. And no, I'm not. Because I know I'm not excited. Or prepared, sorry. And I bent it. A cute little brooch, like, um, not brochure, but like a cute little lip design. You refuse to sell your patterns to me. I'm the worst human. Okay, so Barefoot Needle Art. They have the 4th of July one that I'm working on too, and I don't remember seeing any other um, holiday themed anchors, but when I see them, I'll be getting up. So it's this, but I'm not doing it on the green fabric because I just didn't have the green fabric and I was fine with that. And then I also didn't have this color. It's supposed to be carrot 7081 and I didn't, I just didn't have it. So I'm using 946, which I think we'll be close enough and so far from what I'm seeing on this I, I'm, I'm happy with it also my fabric's not green so I think it's gonna work fine I have this leftover from a cross stitch I made for someone for Christmas it's 30 count angel hair and it was 13 by 17 and I think it's gonna be plenty big enough for this and I already started it because this is the one I'm working on now um, and then my third one, so I already worked on my first one. I'm working on my second one, and I'll be on my third one next. I'm, guys, this video is a mess. Okay, it's a mess. Got the top part of the anchor. It's so cute. A little flower I did at the bottom. I was just messing around. I just left it. Whatever. Oh, I have an FFO. I totally forgot about that. I'm losing my mind, guys. Alright, okay. Well, let's get through the plans first. And then I'll do the FFO. And then, um, yeah. Let's see what else. 
trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Why did I put that one in here? Oh, it's because I'm going to do it next. So I ordered um, one of the fabrics that I dyed for Magical Magical School of Stitches shared a free, two free Halloween patterns. One I believe was called Trick or Treat and one was like, kind of like a, a, like a globe with like different Halloween stuff in it. I don't remember for sure. I don't know the name either. I just know I have them saved on my computer to print out, which I'm going to do. And I don't have any progress done on that, so I don't even need to show you anything about it, but that's gonna be my third project for this week. And then my second one that I already worked on, it's confusing because I'm going all over the place instead of like actually showing you how I should be, is um, Halloween Cat, is what I call it. I don't think it's called that. Halloween Kitty, designed by Jane Fate of Angel Stitchin'. And it's supposed to look like this. It's from uh, Just Cross Stitch. I made a photocopy. No one get upset. I'm gonna throw it away when I'm done. It's just so I don't mess up my magazine. Oh, I wouldn't have even shown that, but I don't know where I put the mag, but my kids ripped apart the magazine and the insert where that one is actually on, I placed it somewhere so it wouldn't get lost or ruined, and now I don't know where it is. It's here somewhere. But this is, oh, and then I also changed the colors on this. There's supposed to be uh, a green for the Halloween, and I decided that I was gonna do a purple because it fits better with my Halloween decorations. And then, did I keep the original orange? No, I did like 741 for the orange and it's supposed to be 971. And then I don't even think I kept the moon the same color. It's turning out, so whatever. I guess I'm getting more brave. I did 726 for the yellow and it was supposed to be 445, yeah, 445, which is the DMC alternate. And then it's 740, I used 740 close, 741 I said. And that was supposed to be 971. And then I'm using 550 for the Halloween, where it says Halloween instead of the green, because that's just what works for me. And I also had dyed this a while back. See what I mean about all the purple color? That's because that's all I have, is pinks and purples and reds. So I need to get some blues and greens and stuff. But either way, I'm pretty happy with it. It was an even weave. Don't ask me the count because I don't remember. And this is the progress. This was a fresh start. I didn't have anything done on this. And I got that much done. I'm actually really happy with it. It looks really nice. Put this little boy away. But that's all the attention it's going to get for Halloween. That kind of makes me sad because I was having fun working on it. Maybe I'll pick it up. Anyway. I like do what I think is fair for the other projects for the week and then pick it up. And let's get that out of the way. So then the next week, I'm going to work on Mill Hill Pirate. It's going to be a brand new start. Mill Hill Cat. Cat. Again, a fresh start. And my little witch girl. I already showed you in the last video for my whip bread, but I'm going to show you again. Because apparently I like to be redundant. So, redundant. Yeah, and I can't even show you. Oh, I can. She's on the front. This is the pe the same page that's missing. I'm going to have to have that out. Oh, stupid. That's just my address. She's right there. But like I said, I'm changing the black tabby to a tan brown one because that's what Sebastian's color is my little kitty boy she's so cute and I also dyed this one and this is another even weave 
and it's pretty much the same amount of progress as it was the last time because I haven't touched it. I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out though. I really like how things look on the even weave. I mean, it's not super hard for my eyes, which is nice. Other things can be. I, just, I wanted to order more sleeves that were Halloween themed but, uh, from Love You More, but my budget this month was not there since I ordered a bunch of stuff for Halloween. Um, so that's the second week of October. The third week of October, it's going to be the other free pattern that I bought the other fabric for. Um, again, I don't, I'll have to show it to you when I make progress on it. Birds are so weird today. Um, then the second one is going to be, make sure there's no addresses on it this time. Why is this one over here? So, oh, I also got these two fabrics. God, this is the worst video ever. Nothing is organized. So this is 32 count vintage country Mocha Lugana fabric, nine by 13. And then this one is 28 count summer khaki Kasha linen, 13 by 18. All specifically bought with this whole order for my Halloween project idea. I'm sorry, guys. I'm the worst. Just stop watching me right now. And I don't even have the page, so I, I don't even know where I'm supposed to be right now. What is life? I'm sorry. Sorry for wasting your time. I'm being real like hard on myself right now. They have so many cute ones in this. Like they don't even show it on the cover, but there's a little little kitty cat sitting on a pumpkin. Look at that. Look at how cute. You can love him. I want to make him too. But I learned, okay, so I learned one of the years that I started cross-stitching and I got all excited about the Christmas ornaments that I don't really love working on the small, small projects like that. Like, I had like 20 ornaments. I'm going to do all of them. And I was like, this sucks. I don't ever want to do this again. So now I'm really apprehensive to start anything smaller, even though I am, just because I don't enjoy necessarily. So I got the called for, I believe it was, No, it's not the called for. It looks exactly the same. It might be the called for. I don't think it is. It's exactly, it looks exactly the same and it's the same size that it's supposed to be. But we're gonna do from the witch's window for that third week and the second project. Because I thought that was so cute. I'm tempted to change him too. Maybe I'll just make all of Sebastian colored. Who knows? Don't go anywhere you're going to be called upon again. And then the other one I'll be working on, the final one for that week will be, ugh, makes me so sad the kids ripped this. Another prairie schooler. See, I said it fine this time. Hocus Pocus. I'm sure plenty of people are familiar with this one. I don't know if I just showed the pattern, sorry. And I, again, haven't made any progress because I haven't touched it. Where are all my needles? I'm going to have to start looking for my needles. I'm missing a bunch. I really would like to make some progress on this one, though. I really like this one. I feel like all of the, the prayer schoolers work. It's just very, like, crisp, I feel like. And I really, really like that it's so crisp looking. Done. I messed something up. I figured it out. It took me a second. I just wrote the same project twice and then left a project out, but I was all confused for a second. Anyway, so 
the fourth week, we're going to be working on uh, Stony Creek. I just dropped the bag for now. The uh, Scary Night Halloween sampler from 2017 from Stony Creek. And it looks like that. And I already, and again, in the whip grade showed this because I'm doing it twice. But that's fine. I, I want to make some progress on this one. Again, there's no needle. Where did all my needles go? What's the point of having a needle minder if there's no needle on it? I'm really perplexed by this right now. Like, legit, where's my needle minder? Or my needles? So, again, sorry just annoying because then when I pick up projects I have to go then he's calling me then I have to go hunt down go away I have to go hunt, I have to go hunt down needles Ugh, I'll just have to order more Amazon loves me right now my kids birthday coming up I've just been an ordering psycho anyway but I would really like, like to make some really solid progress on that. Wow. Anyway. And then my next one is going to be, it's called Fall Teapot, but I called it Sunflower Pumpkin. Or pumpkins and, Sunflowers and Pumpkin. And I actually am not gonna make it like a teapot. So I'm going to admit, omit this spout and I'm not going to do the checker at the bottom it's just going to be regular I have to probably be careful of the shading because I don't want it to look weird but I just didn't I don't need it to be the teapot I'm not quite sure about the handle yet because I think that that might be no I think it maybe it won't be necessary or maybe I'll just make it longer and then like uh try and do like a leaf or something in backstitch but I really liked the sunflowers and that pumpkin and I think that's lavender too I just thought that was cute but I don't it, is that really necessarily Halloween maybe not I don't but I'm stitching on it and that's gonna be it for that week and then for the next week I'm going to do the witch's crossing this one and Quaker Halloween. And that is my plans. So hopefully I have a lot more progress to show you in the next video because I have a lot of stuff going on right now. And that's why this video is all over the place. Let me get my FFO. I made a tote bag. Oh, I forgot to cut this part out. Just ignore that. I'm not the best at sewing. Like, you look at my lines, I'm, I'm crooked. I'm so crooked. I don't dig measuring. I don't dig trying to pin things in place and make them accurate. In fact, I had sewn this on and then I sewed it on this bottom part on crooked because I didn't have the foresight to sew this piece, the cross stitch piece, onto the bag first and then sew the bag together. So it was incredibly hard to get this all the way over to my machine. And I sewed it on, it was like this. It was like folded like this. And it looked so bad. So I had to rip it out and then do it again. But that's also the reason why I was delaying my Fosti video because I wanted to share this as my progress that I have made. And I didn't want to show it with it looking like that, but I also didn't want to fix it. Sister hasn't gotten her present yet. There it is. And you know what? I'm pretty proud of that. I don't know how she's gonna wash it. I mean, they're not over dye, so I guess she, as long as she hand washes it, it might be okay. Anyway, so that's my FFO. I only have ever finished, or fully finished one other thing, and it was a birth sampler for my son. And that fell apart. Not the actual cross stitch. 
but the shadow box that I created, it didn't hold up. So I have to like open it up and try and fix it somehow. And again, I, I just don't want to. So I haven't touched it. It's just been in the garage hiding for me. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it soon. Um, what else? So things that I'm listening to. I'm obsessed with Crime Junkies. Um, I use Stitcher and then I also listen to History Chicks. And the reason uh, I do that is because I tend to get grounded from listening to my crime podcast because I get a little bit crazy. And by that I mean like I start to get stressed out. <laughs> but I can't stay away from the dark and twisty. I can't help it. I just can't. So I've learned to uh, stagger it a little bit. I like history and the history chicks is basically a history podcast but it's based on the women in history because as we all probably know a lot of the focus on history is on a lot of men so like today's podcast I listened to one about Abigail Adams and that was interesting because she started off really like I don't know if I want to say humble but like just like an any everyday uh, about Cinderella because I start all the way at their older ones the one before that was Marie Antoinette which was interesting and I think sometimes some of the interest like the things that are interesting about it is just seeing the difference of how women had to handle things back then based on how we have to handle things now and also seeing that some things still haven't changed they've only changed a little bit if at all and we're still really um, being put in situations where we have no control and I, I, I mean that's the end of that um, so I listened to that one and then I listened to my crime junkie one which is I, I like it um, and then sometimes I'll throw in and that's why we drink and or criminal uh, there's another one that I was thinking about listening to called swindled it's like, um, I don't want to say blue color. Oh, the one I listened to that was crazy. That was originally from them that, um, Crime Junkies redid was called The Daikin. The Daikin Show. I could be wrong about that part. That, I don't know if that's how you say it. But it was basically an IUD that was created with no scientific backing really at all. Like, they said that they did experiments but the experiments that they did to prove that it was okay and effectual and like, like it wasn't gonna harm anyone were, were bogus. They just, they weren't. And they gave these to these women and like 300,000 women ended up having uterine bleeds and tears and I probably should have like put a- My mom waves. <sighs> Guys, I am such a rut with books. I just can't even find any audiobooks that I even like anymore like I just I feel like they're all boring like I can't get into them I tried the Raven Boys and good lord they, they want me to turn the Halloween stuff back on they're not dying I promise um I couldn't I got through it but it there's one more book there's two more books I made it through two and I'm I don't even want to waste my money on them because I pay for the audiobooks easiest way to listen to them with having to do stuff with kids and with wanting to craft um so anyone have any good suggestions that would be cool I'm like a Harry Potter fantasy um throwing a glass kind of reader so those are the kind of books that I look for um the one I am trudging through right now is called Stepsister by Jennifer Donnelly and it is basically a remake of Cinderella, I believe the German version, where they cut their toes off to fit into glass. God, I'm the worst. Like, people are going to be so offended by me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's the book. It's in the book. And I just don't even think about it. I just say stuff. Uh, but the two stepsisters take measurements, drastic ones, to fit into the glass slipper. The step, mostly about one of the stepsisters, but about two of them and about 
like kind of more or less trying to change your path and um, pave your own way, not based on destiny, more of just creating your own path and becoming your own person. And it's okay. I just can't get into it. Um, if you have any podcasts too that you think are good that you listen to that aren't necessarily crime, because honestly, I have my fill of the crime ones. And I can't keep picking up crime ones because they make me a little bit kooky. Uh, let me know.